to. We need to sync the sound, you know, the drill, and of course, Harald Jovis, forget this. Hello, my name is Jelolov. I'm from uh, Sweden C++, and I'm going to show you how you can use iMovie to do the pre-processing pre -processing of YouTube videos for C++ talks. And uh, you should know that we have actually used uh, Kodi and Live, and uh, Paul Drake at our side has done all most of all the videos. And then we have uh, Jonas, who has done some of the videos in uh, iMovie or in Final Cut Pro. So I'm just going to show you um, the steps in iMovie. And uh, of course, the steps to synchronize the video and the sound is, uh, is the same in both, in, if, in any tool you use, but of course the, the operations may differ slightly. So let's see how iMovie does this. I start by creating a project. So I click here. And then we, of course, import the media. And for simplicity, I'm use, going to use one video file and one external audio file. If we have, and we usually have Levier mics and so on, so we have several audio files, then we need to sync every, each and every one of these files in the same process as I'm going to show you here. Anyhow, at Sweden C++, we, uh, at the moment of this recording, we are using uh, Resilio Sync to share these large files. So here we have the folder from our 09 um, Stockholm C++ event and I'm going to select the, the um, first video from the first session and I'm going to select the audio from the first session. And this audio is uh, recording with uh, a simple iPhone that we placed uh, near the, the speakers in the front and uh, it picks up reasonably well the audio of course we're not uh, that's not the in this case it's not the final audio but for this example it, it works just fine so we import those two and it goes quite quickly these files has been compressed so um, it's just for for the example of this video so now we have them in the project we just drag the video down to the timeline here and of course we, we just draw the audio down here so now we have the video and the audio placed in the project but of course these aren't synced uh, you can see that if we just turn off the audio of the video file and well you can't see it there but yeah, here you can see it. It's, it's not synced at all. It's, it's totally the wrong guy talking here. So what we need to do, that we need to zoom in and then find the clapping. What we, we've done, we've done a, a clapping uh, on video and that creates a, a sharp sound. And we can find that sound in the audio file. So let's look for that. Um, go back here and I'm actually going to adjust the volume here just to, to emphasize. Uh, so as a side note, uh, Paul Drake has developed a process where he actually enhanced the audio using the open source Audacity application. I'm not going to show you this the, here, but it, it gets uh, a little, you, you have more ability to tweak the audio. So I'm just going to, to use the raw audio here uh, for this example. So let's find the clap. Um, one moment for the we camera. Need, we need to sync the sound, you know the drill. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Sorry, Harald, I, I told you to, to, we need to sync the sound, you know the drill. And of course, Harald, you always forget this, so I always have to, uh, to interrupt you and do this packet. But anyhow, here it is. So listen to it. Yeah, so there's a clap. And what we now do is in iMovie, we select the, the audio clip. It's, it's a yellow frame framed here. And I'm just cut the clip and get rid of the first part. So now we only have the clip from the clap and onwards. So 
I just drag this back to the beginning. And now the second part, of course, is to find the clap in the video. And that's easier. Um, just scroll here until we find the clapping. There's the clapping. Okay, so what I like to do is I temporarily turn on the, the audio of the camera because then we get a visual also of the, of the audio clapping on the camera. And you can see it here. It's quite small, but, uh, but it's there. So we just want to match now uh, visually the clapping there with the clapping on the video. And we can scroll a little bit more. And now I can sing a step here. Um, and I again turn on the audio of the video file so I don't get uh, confused. And now let's see. <laughs> That's actually perfect on the first try. So let's play this and see how it looks. This looks nice. Um, now, what I like to do is I want to go a little bit into where uh, someone talks because we're very sensitive to lip sync. So we can see, as humans, we can see if the, the lip sync isn't in sync with the audio. So that's a, a good test. So let's go in here somewhere where Harald is talking. Welcome to our first event 2018. Um, this is shot. In yeah. Home. So. I think that's quite good. So now this is the most crucial step, the first step in the pre-processing of videos to get the audio and the video synced. And um, so I'm going to stop here for this episode and see if I maybe now continue and do separate episodes of how you can in iMovie cut this session up in the different speakers because that's the next step. And just uh, a final note, I haven't shown, I've skipped the audio pre-processing step where we enhance the audio before we do this syncing. And, uh, uh, but that's not the purpose of this video. So um, yeah, that's all for now. And uh, thank you for watching.